Father is calling for criminal charges against the bus driver. He says abandoned his first grader near a busy roadway with no adult supervision. That dad telling Fox 40 that the Lodi Unified School District driver dropped the six year old off early. Only later did the district call to tell him his son had been left alone. Fox 40's Karma Dickerson joining us live in Lodi with what we know about what happened. Karma. At this point, the father says he's still struggling to get some answers about what exactly happened in this situation. But he tells us he can't think of any circumstance in which it would be okay to leave a six year old unattended in public. With four children at three different Lodi area elementary schools with three different bus schedules, getting kids to and from campuses can be a bit hectic for Patrick Hobson's family. She pulls up, you walk up to the bus driver and you make eye contact with her. How are you doing a friendly wave? But they adopted to the various drop off and pickup schedules and were making it work or they were until Tuesday. I got a phone call from uh, the, the transportation office uh, stating that my child was left unattended uh, by the bus driver at the drop off and that somebody needed to pick him up. The family's youngest student, Gavin, just six years old, had been dropped off here. Just yards away from busy State Route 88 in Clements. All the thoughts were rushing through my head. He would wander to the highway. Somebody would abduct him. Yes, according to his family, it is his normal drop off spot from Lakewood Elementary School in Lodi. But according to Hobson, the bus driver dropped off Gavin early. I don't know the logic. I don't know if she's having a bad day or what was going through her mind, but there was definitely no other children and there were no parents. And she left, let him off the bus. By himself. Hobson says an older daughter was closest and she was able to arrive within minutes. He's surprised because we normally don't pick him up until like 20 minutes later around 350. She tells Fox 40 when she pulled up, she found her little brother sitting here at a neighboring restaurant with his head down in tears. Oh, he did not speak to me at all. He was just crying. Yeah, that's how we got home. I was crying. Due to COVID concerns, Gavin Sosa missed in person kindergarten. So this was the first graders first few months of in person learning. I get picked up in the bus until Tuesday. Gavin had been doing well, his father says. But this time with the early drop off. Why were you crying? Gavin's father is trying to make sense of how under any circumstances a school bus driver would drop off a six year old alone without seeing someone take responsibility for the child, let alone near a busy roadway. He sees it not just as irresponsible, but criminal and wants to see the bus driver held accountable. I know if, if, if it was me as a parent and I had left my six year old near a highway in a public place, I would definitely be in handcuffs and potentially losing my children. Hobson has reported the incident to the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office, who confirms to Fox 40 there is an ongoing investigation investigation, though criminal charges are not being pursued at this time. And the school district is giving that uh, criminal investigation as a reason why they're not giving details about what happened in this case, giving us a statement saying in part, we take all concerns regarding safety seriously and are looking into this matter because there is an active law enforcement investigation. We cannot provide a further comment. Reporting from Lodi, Carmen Dickerson, Fox 40 News.